Hey fam bam, this is Sarah back with you. Um, I wanted to come at you today with a video um, on my cleaning routine. Um, since it is flu season, uh, or I call it sick season because I feel like everyone is sick, not even just with the flu. But since it is that time of year, um, I felt like it would be cool to share like ways I'm trying to keep my house and the things around me um, sanitary and free of sick. Because working in a hospital, you, I, I encounter sick all day, every day. Um, and so to try to not bring that home for my husband and my dog, um, it's very important for me. So I just thought I would show you guys um, kind of what I do. Um, if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a travel nurse. Um, and I love what I'm doing right now. I'm currently in a contract in Indy, so it's very cold and very sickly. Ugh. Um, but that's okay. I love it. Um, it's great here. Uh, we've gotten some snow, so that's been really pretty to see. Um, anyways, if you want more up-to-date um, information, not information, if you want to follow me more day-to-day, -day, um, you can follow my Instagram. Um, I'll link it up here, or I'll like put it up here for you. Um, it's smileysarah17. And then um, I have a dog that you can follow his Instagram if you really want. Um, he's pretty darn cute. His name is Wheatley Cade, and his Instagram is just Wheatley Cade. So anyways, let's get into this video. Um, so first things first, um, well, I kind of break up my stuff into weekly and then um, like either daily or every day I'm off. So I work three days a week, three. Um, I work pretty much like 13 to 14 hour shifts. They say they're only 12 and a half, but I get there early and sometimes you end up staying a little bit later. So I like to say closer to 13. Um, so pretty much like all day um, and you come home and you're exhausted. You don't want to do anything. So um, I try to cram my other four days full of everything I need to do to take care of my house and you know, life and all that kind of stuff. Um, so right now with my current contract, I work weekends. Um, so that gives me more of like a routine. Um, so I'm able to do um, like, I work Saturday, Sunday. Most of the time I have Monday off, um, which is great. Um, and so on Mondays, um, that's when I do all my weekly tasks. So my weekly tasks include cleaning the bathroom. Um, I find this very important. And right now I'm using like a bleach heavy solution, um, but I'm looking to kind of transition out of that. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted on that, you know, in the future uh, when I change that over. But right now I do use a bleach heavy solution, um, but too with flu season, you know, at the hospital, we use bleach. Bleach kills all germs and that's very important um and so just with this time of year um you know your bathroom it's where you you poop your shower a lot of germs are in the bathroom um so i clean the shower um i spray everything down um i sh use the shower for the shower and the vanity um i do the same like solution and then for the toilet i have like a toilet cleaner that i use all are very bleach heavy based um, but anyway, so I spray down the shower, um, I spray the tub part, and then I also spray the walls that we're, the shower we're living in right now, um, cause it has like a tile thing. Um, it's a really nice shower, but that's just what I do. So I spray that down, I kinda let that soak, and then I come over to the vanity, and I spray a little bit of the vanity down. I don't go too heavy on the vanity, cause our vanity is kinda small. Um, so I just do like one square on each side, and then I really just make sure I scrub. Um, the sponge that I use, um, I actually found at like a discount grocery store a long, long time ago and I absolutely fell in love. So I went back and I bought like all they had <laughs> and I need to, when we go back home to like transition into our next contract, um, I need to get some more because I love these. Um, but anyways, um, so, uh, I use, and the pack that I got for those is a two pack. So I use one in the bathroom and then one in the kitchen. And I do not interchange. Once I dedicate a sponge to the bathroom, it stays in the bathroom until I'm done and I throw it away. Um, and then same with the kitchen. Once it's in the kitchen, it stays in the kitchen until I'm done and I throw it away. I don't like to interchange. I find that very gross. Um, but you do you. <laughs> Anyways, so um, so, after, so I spray down the vanity and then I come back to the tub. And I scrub the tub down uh, really good. Um, and then I just kind of let that sit for a little while. Go to the vanity and then I always do my toilet last. Um, so I scrub down the vanity with every, with um, my sponge and stuff. I make sure to get down in my sink um, and that like, the little, I don't know what it's called, but like the little like 
thing that you can like close to put water like keep water in the sink or whatever and make sure i scrub that really good and i kind of go underneath if i can um because if you think about it all like when you spit your toothpaste or whatever out all that stuff kind of gets caught up in there and so i just try to make sure that's all clean um and then i move into my toilet with a sponge um so i usually do the toilet uh before i do the vanity let that sit or i'll do it like i'll spray everything down and then before i go to the tub i'll like kind of do the toilet bowl um i let that sit so when i come to the toilet i do the inside of it first and then i do kind of move out but i mean that the toilet's been flushed so i don't know I don't know the process of it all, but I do, okay, so I do everything, I do the, um, then after I scrub everything down with the bleach solution, um, I put that up and I rinse out my sponge um, in the sink, then I use a Clorox wipe. Um, so Clorox, like on the thing says they clean flu and whatever, bacteria, um, the virus-y stuff. Um, so flu is a virus, um, a lot of other things are bacteria, so if you want to have a bacteria, if you want to have your viruses killed, I find it's very important, you know, to do that. So that's what I do. Um, I uh, use a Clorox wipe and I wipe down my vanity and then I throw that Clorox wipe away. I grab a new one and then I wipe down my toilet seat. Um, so if you think about all the time you sit down, you might have bacteria or whatever or bacteria in the toilet that might somehow creep up. I don't know. So I wipe down my seat and then I also wipe down the front of the toilet all the way down to the floor and I wipe down the floor. Living with a man, they pee with their penis and so sometimes i feel like it dribbles they say no but never say never you know so i just always wipe down the floor around there too it doesn't hurt you know so anyways um and then sometimes i'll wipe down like the top part where i have like all my uh like belongings and stuff but sometimes if it doesn't look too bad i don't always i do always clean like the uh flush thing though so at this house we have it's like on top of the toilet it's like a button you push so i wipe that down because think of all the times you touch that so gross then i take another clorox wipe and i wipe down the like you know when you get in the tub like that ledge i wipe down just that ledge in the front of the tub and then the tub is pretty much done so i close the curtain and i'm done with the tub then um i i use the thieves like spray cleaner it's like a multi-purpose like kind of cleaner it smells so good if you've never used it you have to get your hands on this stuff anyway so i use that and i spray the mirror of the bathroom and the vanity and i wipe that down like with the thieves because i like the way that smells and it it's like the last thing i do and then um i'm done with the bathroom so i do that every single week um every usually every monday if it if i work on monday then i do it on tuesday um so that's my weekly bathroom routine then in the kitchen um so in the kitchen every week i wipe down the counters um and i clean the sink out um so the counters and i try to like move everything and i make sure i get back where everything like where our things are on the counter with um i use the thieves cleaner again i use a multi surface that's not right right micro fiber cloth is what i use and i bought a pack that has three different colors so i have color coded blue is the bathroom gray is like my living room and bedroom and then green is the kitchen so i have like a certain cloth color for each um place in my house i guess you could say anyway so i, I wipe down the counters and then i also do that with my like in the living room like to dust i wipe down with my thieves i spray everything i move everything off spray the tables wipe everything down i also do that with our um like bedroom dresser and stuff nightstand i wipe all that stuff down as well um and then the kitchen too i like i'll clean the oven or like the stove top really good and the microwave i'll clean that out every week um and then um i vacuum really good once a week as well so um i try to vacuum every day i'm off because you always are tracking stuff around um but on the days i'm off i vacuum the couch um uh, i have like a specific like i have a dyson v7 i think is what it is i think it's a v7 but it's an animal one um so it, it has like this one part to it that helps like pick up your animal hair and stuff like that um and so i use that um on the couch and we have a chair um and on our rugs that are under like in our living room um because if i try to vacuum them normally they usually get all caught up and it's very frustrating for me so i find it easier to kind of get down and like vacuum it like hand wise it's kind of a lot but whatever i do it once a week 
Then I vacuum everything else with just like the normal vacuum kind of thing. Um, and I usually start with like the front door because it's usually where a lot of this stuff is and I don't want that to get tracked. So I start there and then I kind of I go into the living room and I go into the kitchen and then I go into the bathroom and then I go into the bedroom slash closet. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, and I, I call it, kind of do call it like a deep vacuum because I really like take my time. I'm very meticulous about this, this particular vacuum that I do on Mondays. Um, and then the rest of the week, I just kind of vacuum where I find there are th like maybe leaves or um, just things on the floor. I'll vacuum, but I don't like, and that is meticulous with it, if that makes sense. Um, so that's my weekly. And then every day or every day I'm off, I wipe down the counters. Um, I usually do them before I go to bed because that way in the morning, it's like the kitchen is clean. You walk in, do your morning cup of coffee. I have a clean kitchen. It's okay. <laughs> And then um, I try to vacuum um, every day I'm off. Um, again, like I said, dirt and stuff. And we have a dog, and so letting him out. Sometimes he tracks stuff back in. So vacuuming our bedroom is very important to me. And then um, I just kind of like clean up after myself. So if I make a mess, I clean it up. Um, if I do a lot of dishes, I always clean up the sink. Um, so what I do with that is, um, and before I start dishes too, I always clean up the sink that I leave them in. Um, just because I want to make sure it's clean after I rinse, clean and rinse them. Um, so I just take my sponge and I put soap on it and then I just like clean the edges and I work my way down to the drain. And I do clean around the drain because a lot of bacteria can back up through there. Um, and I just find that's very important. So that is pretty much my cleaning routine. Like I said, I do this um, every week. I also try to do laundry um, every day I'm off if we have enough. Sometimes we don't have a lot, so I'll wait until like another day. Um, but I like, I'm one of those weird people. Like I like cleaning and I like doing my laundry. Um, it just, for me, it makes me feel like my house is in order. I don't know. I don't know. I just enjoy it. Um, and so it's just something that I like to do. Um, like I said, I guess I'm just one of those weird people. Um, so yeah, so I do my laundry and um, I fold and put it away. Sometimes, um, like what I'll do is if I, like, I know I'm going to do two loads back to back, I'll do one load and I'll dry it and then I'll lay out like the um, everything and I leave it on the bed and then I'll do the other load and then I just put it all away at once. It just depends on like how much laundry I'm doing. Oh, but I will say once a week, I do um, wash like our towels and stuff. So this goes back with the weekly stuff. Um, and so I do the towels and then um, one week I'll do sheets. So um, in this clip, you'll see that I'm pulling sheets off the bed and I'm washing sheets. Um, but then like the next week, I'll do the bathroom rugs um, and we have like a rug in our room for uh, like the, our back sliding door that we have. Um, so. I alternate so sheets I think technically you're supposed to wash your sheets every week but I just find that very daunting for some reason so I do it every other week because I find it's important but it's not like that I don't know that's just my routine um, so yeah that's what I do I go back and forth um, but I always wash like our bathroom towels every week um, that we've used for the week and then I have another set that I put out so it's like the towels get washed every other week I guess you could say as well um anyways um I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I do I want to say that that's a no um just trying to think I also so like probably like once a month or so I do um I try to mop or like clean the floors um and like the windows and stuff um I like I think really I feel like our floors I should do more but it's kind of a hard task um, and we live in a smaller space, but I don't know, with school and stuff like that, sometimes I just don't have time. So I just find once a month is it suits the needs that I I have, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, I think that is my cleaning routine. If you have any questions, do let me know below. Um, and yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing a nurse's perspective um, with cleaning and keeping her house clean. Um, like I said, I find it very important uh, since like we're in the sixth season to keep my house clean. And I do this even when it's not during sixth season, but when it's during this time of year, I find it's very important to keep it extra clean and stuff. Um, I do have a diffuser that I like to diffuse um, essential oils through, um, but that is not the answer to everything. I just find it helps me feel better, um, which I think is important, you know. Okay, anyways. Um, so like I said, I do have a diffuser that I use. Um, I use it because it makes me feel good, um, but I really don't see the health benefits that some people really put behind. I just like the way it makes my house smell, um, and it makes me feel better overall. So I am going to put that out there. Um, but anyways, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I hope, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed um, hearing my views um, on your house clean and all of that stuff um, and uh, don't forget to like this video if you liked it um, if you didn't then don't like it or dislike it or whatever that way I know not to do that um, and um, don't forget to subscribe like the or do the notification bell that way you never miss a video and don't forget to share um, if you find that someone might need this information or this advice or whatever don't hesitate to share with them I think that's awesome of you guys to do that so I will see you guys in this next video and I are the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one um, and yeah I'll see you guys later bye